Number 8. This is 1962 Lincoln sent in MS-67 red condition. Flashy with bright copper gold surfaces and excellent eye appeal. The design elements are well impressed and both sides are devoid of mentionable marks or spots. PCGS reported overall 36 gems in this grade with just single numerically finer. This specimen was sold for $5,875. Number 7. Here is undated Franklin half dollar struck on a dim planchet. Graded in mint state 63 by NGC. According to Heritage Auctions, type 1 reverse with 4 feather tips left of perch. A desirable wrong planchet error. The centering favors Franklin's profile, which is complete. The date and mint mark areas are off the flan. E pluribus unum is intact. The eagle's left wing is present, along with most of the Liberty Bell. Appropriately, most of half dollar is absent. The borders are toned golden brown, though the centers remain brilliant. It was sold for $9,000. Number 6. 1948 Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 67 Red by PCGS. A boldly struck, pristine superb gem that is bathed in mint luster. Examination will discover a trace of carbon on the lower reverse, but still one of the finest graded and worthy of any top-notch collection. It was sold for $10,350. Number 5. 1947 S. Jefferson Nickel in MS-67 condition with full steps. Rose gray surfaces show shining luster and splendid preservation on both sides, adding up to enormous eye appeal. The obverse is free of mentionable contact marks and boasts an extremely sharp strike. The reverse shows one small, thin scrape in the left field above the dome, and a small tick on the left portico column of Monticello, marks well within the context of the grade. The central stairs show five full steps, making this piece a strike as well as conditional rarity. The second edition of Bernard Nagingus Jefferson Nickel Analyst, 2002, rates the 1947 S as very rare with five full steps. It was sold for $14,100. Number 4. 1949 S. Jefferson Nickel in MS-67 condition with full steps. The 1949 S is a remarkably scarce issue with a full step incidence estimated at 1 in 150 coins. As Bernard Nagingist commented in his 2002 series reference, rolls sometimes available. However, four original rolls would need to be found in order to locate a single full steps coin. Condition is obviously a problem for this issue as well with so few high-grade examples certified. This specimen ended up selling for $15,275. Number 3. This is 1964 Kennedy half dollar with accented hair. Graded as PR68 Deep Cameo by PCGS. The accented hair design is believed to have been the first design used to strike proof Kennedy half dollars in 1964. The accented hair variety displays extra hair, right above Kennedy's ear, as opposed to a regular coin which will have less hair above the ear. The accented hair variety is rare in PR68 Deep Cameo at PCGS and almost unknown finer. This piece is brilliant with stark white on black contrast and dramatic eye appeal. The strike is fully rendered, and no imperfections are observed. This specimen was sold for $17,400. Number 2. Here is attractively toned 1948 Franklin half dollar in MS-68 condition with full bell lines. It is star designated by NGC. The 1948 was the first year of issue for the Franklin half dollar. The previous year, 1947, was the first year the mint issued mint sets in the now widely recognized flat packs. Each mint that produced coins in a given year, through 1958, had a separate cardboard holder. What is important to know about this packaging is each holder had a significant presence of sulfur in its composition, which in turn produced magnificent toning on at least one side, sometimes both as seen here. The surfaces display rich original, multicolored toning, deeper on the obverse than the reverse. Obviously of mint set origin. It fetched a sum of $26,400. Number 1. And this is 1964 Washington Quarter from Special Mint Set. Graded in Mint State 67 by PCGS. Possibly produced as prototypes for the five coin special mint sets offered by the mint from 1965 through 1967, a small hoard of previously unknown 1964 special mint sets was discovered in the 1990s. This spectacular superb gem Washington Quarter was included in one of those sets.
The design elements are sharply detailed throughout and the impeccably preserved surfaces are lustrous and appealing. PCGS reports just 13 specimens in this lofty grade, with single numerically finer. This example was sold for $23,400. That's all folks. If you have any questions or want to share your own numismatic discoveries, please feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit subscribe and like buttons. God's will, until the next time.